y'all. Welcome to Mandy's Closet. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you saw from the title of this video, you know that we are going to deep dive into a very personal subject. If you're here and you're watching this video, it's because you want to know. Okay, so... I tried to write some notes down, but this is not an easy subject. It is an important subject, but I feel I need to get on here and talk about it because it is a real subject, and this subject 100% affects me personally. And this subject... Let's just talk about the white elephant in the room. Oh, bladder incontinence. That is what we're talking about today. Bladder leakage, however you want to spill it. <laughs> but I'm bumpsy. Let's just have a little humor. Um, that's what we're talking about. So I'm looking down at some notes I have. Okay. Um, it is a sensitive subject. Um, uh, if I laugh through this, it's because I'm nervous, because I know there will be people that watch this that don't know this about me, and so I'm kind of putting myself out there. So please understand that if I do throw some humor into this, it's just my way of dealing. Uh, I'm not mimicking laughing because this is 100% a reality for me. Uh, so, uh, let, let's just talk about this. Um, what I'm talking about today is going to be the Poise Impressa. And this is about the bladder support kit. Um, no, I'm not being sponsored. No, I have no affiliation. No, nothing, nothing. Not getting money. No, nothing. It is just finally something that works for me. And I felt the need to talk about it on my channel. Uh, the first thing I want to talk about though is about bladder leakage itself. If you cough, if you laugh, if you sneeze, if you exercise and you leak, this product is for you. If you have the urge to go to the bathroom and you leak it's not the same so that you need to consult your doctor and let me give a disclaimer i am not a doctor please go seek medical attention if you have any medical emergency whatever else medical necessity you need i am not giving you medical advice i am not telling you to use this i'm telling you what I feel has finally worked for me. The reason I'm talking about it, like I said, is because I lived it through complete and total embarrassment and humiliation. Um, it was probably, it, I've been dealing with it for approximately three years. Once I had a complete and total hysterectomy, my bladder went I don't know why, it just did. Uh, I ended up being at a party, and uh, I will try not to get emotional, but I had been dealing with it with a doctor, and she tried to put me on medicines, because there are medicines that you can try to take um, to try to control it, and I was taking the medicines, and they weren't working. Um, so I went to this physician, and uh, during the time I was being treated by this physician, I was at a party where I laughed so hard, okay? And so there's certain ways that we sit, or we stand, or we cough, or we sneeze, and the way your body is, is positioned, pff, it just comes right out. And so because I was laughing so hard, because I had so much fun at this party, thank God... Thank God they had a leather couch, is all I can say, because I would have left a complete wet spot. I cried myself all the way home because I had just gone all over myself. That's when I went back to the doctor and said, these pills are not working. I mean, I was just bawling. It was, it was so humiliating. It's the most humiliating thing for us women to have to go through. I'm sorry. 
like I said, this is not easy, but it, but it is important to me because I know there's other of you out there that may be suffering with this. It may not be as severe as mine was, um, <clears throat> but at the same time, it may just be exercise, whatever, and you want relief, you know? You might sneeze and be like, oh, I'm just going to say it, son of a bitch, right? And you're like, what the hell? I mean, I don't mean to cuss, but it's like, seriously, that frustration is there. So I, I, uh, I ended up having surgery shortly after, probably within the next month of that humiliating night. Um, and I got a bladder sling. Well, now there's all these, you know, mesh recalls and, um, you know, and there's no 100% guarantee of this. And there's limitations. You know, I can't exercise and run like I used to because of this mesh implant. So, um, and it's not 100%. Uh, mine was so bad, though, that I'm so thankful I got it because it has, you know, mine was horrible. So, I'm glad I got it. I'm, I haven't had any problems. Um, I haven't had any reactions. My mesh is fine, everything like that. But I still have a little bit of leakage um, when it comes to severe coughing. Um, if I sneeze, if I cough, if I do anything like that, I don't have that anymore. Um, but when I recently got sick again with my asthma, the cough came back and I was having leakage again because of how severe the cough was and I thought you have got to be kidding me um I don't like pads pads don't work for me I think because of the force of what comes out I don't feel it slow enough that it catches it and it it spills over for me that or I don't position them right or something, but it, it doesn't work correctly. Or it gets stuck to the hair, the back, and that is painful. Look, pads just were never for me even when I had periods. I didn't feel that wearing the underwear is me. I, I can't do it. I'm sorry. Maybe there are those that could, but I have an aunt that wears them and she's 89. Okay, when I get 89, I'll slap them babies on but I'm only 45 and I'm not ready to wear those yet. So when I saw these come out, the Impressa, I saw them and I thought, huh. And when I started coughing again with all this stuff, I thought, I've, I've got to try it again. There's just, I have to try this. So. I, I did a little research. I work with in the medical profession, so <clears throat> um, I asked one of my good friends that I work with, and she told me to check out a couple sites to see if there's been any recalls. I'm going to link some of that down below, and we're going to talk a little bit about um, toxic, so toxic shock syndrome. Say that. Fast. Let's just talk about the Impressa kit. Okay, I haven't even opened this yet. Um, I bought this one. If you go to the Poise website, they have a $2 coupon code for $2 off the um, sizing kit. Okay, and I, I would highly suggest getting the sizing kit. And we're going to talk about the sizing kit because it doesn't have to do with what you think it has to do. So I paid $7.99 at CVS and with $2 off it's $5.99 and you get a total of... Anyway, you get a total of six. You get size one, two is the pink, and three is the green. Uh, and then you get a $4 off coupon. It said coupon inside, so where is it? So $4 off on your next package when you figure out your sizing kit um, and it doesn't expire until December of 2016 on the one I got okay so let me explain to you first how this works now this is you may not be able to see this but you have your bladder let me see let me turn the lights down a little there you go can you see that all right so you have your bladder right here and this pushes up into the vagina and it pushes, and you'll see how this is shaped, it pushes the little, it 
spreads out like that and will push the flap over a little bit where your urethra is and, and holds it over a little bit. And then the pressure allows you, when you need to pee, the pressure will push it out. But as far as leakage, it will hold it over just enough. One thing I wanna tell you, if you are still on your period, you can't wear this during your menstrual cycle. Um, you know, all, I'm gonna state all the obvious. Please, 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 read this little book it's very informative that comes inside the pack um, and explains exactly how you're supposed to insert it just like you would a tampon and and but it, it's so different um the look and i'm going to show you that um, and it tells you when not to use Impressa. On the website of Poise itself and Impressa, there have been no toxic shock syndrome cases reported to date. So let's go ahead real quick and talk about toxic shock syndrome that was big in the 1970s. And the reason it was big in the 1970s were not necessarily due to uh, people leaving in the men so, so long. But if you, here's the difference. Uh, this is an uh, tampon that I used to use. <laughs> I had some left. Uh, so let me show you this. This is a size one. Let me backtrack a little. This is the Impressa. So the little case comes out like this. And there is a dis not too big of a difference. Uh, I don't know actually what size mine was. I don't, I think I was probably a super, but it was still a little bit bigger your sizes one two and three have nothing to do with how much you catch or how much you bleed or how big you are it's not it is not about that at all um, in fact this Impressa does not catch your urine that you if you leak a little it doesn't catch it so it doesn't go in your panties it doesn't catch it it stops it so okay so Talking about toxic shock, do you see how this right here is got the, the cotton and these fibers? Well, when I read a lot of information on toxic shock, a lot of these fibers back in the 70s were not made like they are these days, and they would scratch the interior lining of the woman's vagina wall, and then bacteria would get in due to leaving them in too long. And the amount of toxic shock syndrome that goes on today compared to, to back in the 70s is so slim. Um, it's It's because of how well that these tampons are made now. Um, and the fact that they've just done so many good um, education on making sure you don't leave this in for any length of time. Again, I'm gonna put the Mayo Clinic, and then I got another one I think, from, I think from the National Institute of Health, but I will put that also down below. I tried to do as much research as I could, but again, because this is a new product, there are no studies that sh show anything bad when it comes to toxic shock. Okay, so it doesn't look actually anything like a tampon. So let me show you what this does. So when you push this up into yourself, you will push it, and this little balloon looking device goes into your vagina. These are like a spongy it, it's like a square it's in the shape of like a, a square it's very very soft very soft fiber uh, or soft material right here very very soft um and it is just the squishiest i want to say it's like a silicone it must be a silicone because it's clear um inside but i don't know if it's silicone i don't know what it's made of um and it's so squishy, but these are what press up against the urethra lining that hold the urine in and give you more support so you don't leak out. So talking about sizing, it took me a second to find the sizes, but again, this little book has all the information and the level of support 
is your level of sizes. So a one is low, a two is medium, and a three is high. So again, buy the sizing kit first. Start out with one. If you need a little more, go to two. If you need a little more, go to three. Okay, so again, each of these don't look any different. This is one, this is two, and this is three. They don't look any different. It is just like inserting a tampon. Um, I'm older, so things aren't as, I'm going to say it, oh, I can't believe I'm going to say it, lubricated. So be gentle, at least for me, I have to be gentle. If you've had a complete hysterectomy, be gentle. <clears throat> if you're still flowing monthly, you ain't got to worry about it. But for me, I have to be gentle. Um, your placement is, if you haven't worn tampons in a while, um, or if you've never worn tampons, just be gentle and stick that puppy up there. You go three quarters of the way with your index finger. I am not explaining any more than that. <laughs> if this wasn't such an important subject for me, if this was not an important subject for me, I would not talk about this to however many people are going to see this, whether it be my cousin who's a male that watches me all the time, you know, who has no idea what I, that I do, that this is an issue for me, or any of my friends or co-workers for that matter. Um, <clears throat> so it is a very, very personal matter to me. Um, just be sure that if you have any, any issues, if you're uncomfortable, immediately take it out. Um, it, it's, it is, it may not be for you because you've never worn tampons. I do not wear them every day. Um, I've been wearing them during my coughing. Um, I would definitely wear them if I'm going to go dancing, if I'm going to go out. Um, I don't run anymore. You can't when you have a bladder sling. Um, but if I was to do any brisk walking or to go on a walking trail, I would. Uh, the amount of time that they suggest, do not keep it in longer than eight hours. My thing is, um, if you're done with the activity and it's been four hours, take it out. I really believe in this product simply because it's worked for me. Um, <clears throat> again, I'm not getting endorsed by this company. I'm not sp sponsored by this company. I'm not getting any money from this company. I'm getting nothing, nada. I just really believed in it because of how much it helped me. Um, there probably will not be a lot of comments with questions down below, but I am going to um, defer you to your physician if you have questions. If it's something that you want to ask, you know, feel free to ask me in the message, um, you know, in a YouTube message if you want to. But I will tell you that um, this, this kit uh, ha has certainly changed my life and helped me in more ways than you will ever know. And I really think a lot of people will benefit from this. If you have this issue and you can't aren't going to put on panties like me or you don't want to wear a pad and you're sick of the humiliation, um, take that step and, and try these out because they are certainly worth it. So thank you. Thank you for stopping by Mandy's closet because you never know what we're going to talk about in my closet. All right, y'all have a great day, night. It's now nighttime. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to y'all again really soon. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>